what should we update them on? And he goes, I don't know. But then I turn it on. And really... We're just driving around looking at the how wet it is and everything. And you know, when we were driving past this field right here, I was thinking about the first time I rode with you when you were mow oh. board plowing. That's what came up. Oh, I remember when you drove out from the big town that you lived in, Appleton that we were combining over there and you were scared to drive down that grass what? driveway and uh, Let's show I was it so him. busy. Do we have to back uh, up? Yeah. Why that, is the sign well, it's, all messed up? Somebody uh, hit the sign again. Oh, What's for going sure. On Why there? wouldn't they? This equipment's just too big. No. There's signs all over when I was driving to Ortonville. They're weird. like leaned in toward the ditch and do people do that on purpose or do they run into them? Well, That's what I don't there know. There is some, there's a lot of mower damage. Tomfoolery? Not tomfoolery, just mower damage. Uh -huh. This is wind damage here. The sign, the uh -huh. bottom bolt. I know, let me the see. The bottom bolt has been oh. broken from the wind. And look at there. Somebody's been using the sign for target practice. Oh, yeah. Now that one, that, well, there's a couple of spots there that he's right on target, but that one uh, way off on the other one. Oh, that's nice. Oh, well. What you gonna do when you Vandalism. got people like that around the area? And you know, this road, when I was in, uh, 18, seven, 18? 18. Did not look this good. It wasn't Oh, mowed. yeah, back to that story. I don't know if we should tell that story. That's what? kind of sad. What's sad about it? Well, I was way off over in the other corner combining, and I thought... Well, she obviously can drive down that road. Obviously. Well, she sat there quite a while and then she went home. And I thought, okay, see ya. You're supposed to read your mind back then? <laughs> and, oh, that was before cell phones too. There was well, no that was way before cell phones. Right. And that he, who was, you would think he would have You could have walked Been a little bit romantic and kind to me, a town girl. That would have been 10 minutes driving across oh, there with that old combine. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Time is money, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I there remember some that. Days, I just don't even know how this ever happened. How did that. this even happen? Uh, by the grace of God. That's <laughs> all, Amy. <laughs> and we're both still alive. Well, there's a few deep wounds and scars oh. that might heal someday, but not yet. At <laughs> that time. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday drive. It's the Sunday drive. I usually don't go with. Oh, no, you are witnessing something very odd, unique. What is? You driving around looking at whatever it is to look at. Well, sometimes it's the same thing mile after. Well, it is the same thing actually oh, but it isn't it's always different they can have memories pop up like that that's yeah. good well i didn't remember that i'm glad i don't remember that uh, i'm glad you don't remember that too because you got sure got a funny look on your face when you started remembering that <laughs> i remember i was almost done with the corner that's why i did not i thought well she'll hang in there just a little longer well a little longer took a little longer than a little longer Pretty soon up there she How would I have even known you were there? Well, you could see me for heaven's sake. I know, sakes. but what field would I have known to drive there? I suppose you talked to mom. I think you you did go back to the farm. You didn't go back home. But... Oh, yeah, I was thinking that would be kind of weird that I would drive all the way out here and then... Yeah, no, probably 18 back. miles. Back to your house, it was 18 miles. Uh, otherwise, back yep, to that's the farm, it's four miles. This sweater is scratchy. I do not like sweater sweaters that are scratchy. Well, so if I go like this, it's because I have, I don't know, some people would say it's a neurological disorder. I just very, I can't stand scratchy stuff. Pick it, stamp picker.
phone call this morning on the way to church. Somebody asking about hunting somewhere? I don't mind when they ask. It's when I find them out there that they haven't asked. But these poor guys, they, they uh, obviously haven't found out that it's very wet. So oh, right. some of them like to drive out to their hunting spots. And, well, it's it's not really drivable out there. It's very, it's gonna, very black. Oh, here's some yeah. mud on the road. Yeah. And then you got, it's just... It's less than ideal farming conditions at this point. It's now 30, 30 degrees, a low last night of 19. So uh, it's getting, it's starting to get hard out there. And if you aren't, well, you never know. It's not quite, it's not November yet, right, Amy? It's almost November. It's about three days from now. So it's uh, nothing, my old theory is we always try to get done with as much harvesting as we can by Halloween because it gets you never know high winds and bad weather and snow and I uh, I don't know we might we'll get the tillage done but it's gonna it's gonna get quite hard oh mm -hmm. I don't know hunter oh I didn't see squirrel <laughs> we stopped at the corn shack I don't know what's going on down there. I'm transferring corn in, by the way. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, because it there. crossed my mind and I'm like, I think you said to check every 10 minutes and we've been filming for almost seven and we've been gone for probably 15. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, the, um, so we stop at the corn shack and I remember the last video we were doing the beaver dam thing and I couldn't remember what our last video was about. I'm like, oh yeah, the fly strips. Okay, so here's just a little bit of information, is I know that they still saw fly strips. It was just kind of a, when I, it was kind of a joke, I think, that it was just kind of a joke. But it's, not everybody gets it, the punchline. And I, I can't, I'm not very good at joke telling, so I'm not going to tell it. There are fly strips. Actually, we have bought some for the shop that it's like a, rectangle piece of sticky thing you stick onto the window and then they they stick on there. It seems kind of cruel. My brother, the window washer, he he's against them. Yeah, I bet he is. Mm -hmm. You don't, you, know, you wash the window, you leave the window, you don't touch the window, you don't sprinkle, shake your hands like this after you're done washing. No, you don't do that. <laughs> there's rules you have to follow. Yeah. This is life and there's rules. Adhesive gets on the window, that's why. And you shouldn't yeah. use a razor blade either. On some windows you can use razor blades, but do not use a razor blade on the window that is not, you will, made for it. Uh, it's a tempered glass. Tempered. You cannot use a razor blade on tempered glass, otherwise he's got big six inch razor blades. And this is your youngest brother, Brian. Yeah. yeah. And he always came back to um, grain cart, how many years? Many, many. 20-some. 20 20-some 20 years, and this is the first fall. He, he didn't come back. He had too much with his business to handle, and... Main guy had open-heart surgery. Yeah, his main manager guy. Ooh. So, anyway. Yeah, what are we doing talking about this now? What you was brought it? It, it up. was the fly strips. The fly strips, Brian, and the and beaver. Windows. The beaver, oh, beaver yeah. update. Oh, yeah. The beaver is still alive and doing well. Uh, trapping season opened yesterday. Um, so I've got a guy that's on it and uh, we'll give you an update uh, hopefully I just don't know if I should take a picture of the beaver business meeting or I don't know what they call them at church and we were at it and it started at 9 40 and and the agreement was to pray at 9 38 a.m because of Matthew 9 38 about the laborers and the harvest is plentiful but the laborers are few yeah laborers and are few this is hard I put it in my phone to remember and even then it's like yep 10 minutes ahead and then 10 minutes later I'm doing something else so anyway it's good to 
Getting a habit. A habit of those things. Habit of prayer. You know what I learned yesterday? At what the women's yesterday? well we studied Psalm twenty three and anyway, one gal was talking and um, presenting and being honest about like how much time she spends on her phone. And you know, at least on the iPhone it tells you how many hours, how many minutes you've been on each app. She confessed to all of us how many hours and how many minutes and and then she said, gee, if every time I went to pick up my phone to look at it or to check something or to whatever, what if I prayed quick before it? You know, what if every time I wanted to pick up my phone, I said a prayer, even if it's just a five minute, oh, bless, or you know of a, something, or you say, bless my brother, and whatever. So what's Think the of the impact of that would be if we would pray as often as we open up our phone. Hmm. That's very convicting to me anyway. How about you? I might not get nothing done all day. <laughs> it's a difference well, if you're you looking today? at your phone pray or praying. Don't look at my phone. Don't look at your phone. Just pray. Right. Something to think about. What is the appropriate phone time a guy should... How much is too much? Right. How much is too much? Half hour a day too much? Hour and a half? That sounds a lot. I was thinking about all those that I, my apps, the ones I use the most. Snapchat is where I talk to all the people in my life every day for a brief amount of time. But boy, that adds up. The other one I was thinking about, which I will give myself permission, is this new Wall Pilates app, which is probably what? 30 minutes a day. Say that again, what? Wall Pilates. Is that a cartoon you watch or what? Ow. No, it's an exercise stretching something or other. It's empty. Ooh. Well, now my job is complete. Here, let me show you. Okay. I'm emptying the, oh, I'm emptying the overhead bin. So, you can hear the auger is uh, clunking, so I gotta go oh. shut this down. I gotta go. Okay. If you two wanna, you two, if all of you wanna. We'll just say, we'll just say, oh, look at all the birds. Yeah, just set it up so they the can squirrel. watch the sparrows and you can pretend that you're at the dentist watching the bird videos that they have on the TV on the <laughs> screen as you're laying there getting numb. You know, there's bird TV. I'm sure there is. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> oh my gosh. Thanks for joining us. Blessings to you.